There is shocking news that a police officer in Toronto has been shot. He was conducting a traffic stop at Young Street and Eglinton Avenue. At that point, a suspect apparently shot him and the officer was actually transported to hospital. Now, one of the people who were there, who was a suspect in the case, has been arrested and police are looking for another suspect. This is an indication of how, how the criminal gangs and elements in toronto are spiraling out of control part of it is because of the fact that canada has a very liberal criminal justice system meaning that they have a high standard for convictions and sometimes you get people who are seemingly guilty who go free an example of that is the rapper top five who was at uh, on the way to trial essentially but due to a pre-trial motion by his lawyer even though top five was accused of unaliving someone his trial fell apart because the judge refused to allow social media posts into evidence so these are the kind of things which uh, take place and the result of that is sometimes you get criminals who have been arrested who find their way back out onto the street and they do things like this shoot at police officers what charge is the person who committed this crime going to face well the canadian statutes are actually strict when it comes to things like these and section 239 of the canadian criminal code details what charge the shooter will be facing it says that every person who attempts to unalive a person is guilty of an indictable offense and liable liable if a firearm is used if a firearm is used in the, in the commission of the offense or if any firearm is used uh, in the commission of or for the benefit of a criminal organization then they are liable to life imprisonment with a minimum on a first offense of five years so there'll be a minimum of five years assuming this was a uh, some type of gang activity otherwise it would be a minimum of four years with the use of a firearm so that is the minimum but the maximum is life in prison so definitely there are laws on the books to severely punish people who are caught in such brazen acts and attacks on law enforcement but whether they go all the way through trial to conviction is a completely different story entirely because as i said before i've seen lots of trials collapse for various different reasons but it just shows that the mayor the institutions in canada have to get crime on control because it seems to keep on spiraling out of control make sure to like comment and subscribe